Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Sat Sri Akal. Welcome back to another session with your Washaf at Wareva.com. You know my wife Ragini. She is making lot of videos on her own channel called Mrs. Washaf. Yes, she has done more than six hundred videos, and she is targeting mainly for housewives with school-going children. She teaches breakfast. She teaches lot of chutneys and little little things that she learns from me to at home. So please do watch her channel, Mrs. Washaf. Now today I am going to show you a very simple snack with paneer, and uh, this is uh, very easy to make. See, certain kind of snacks you can eat by themselves. Some snacks are sauce driven. That means you need to dip in a sauce. When you do that, you don't need to apply too much or any masala. to the main frying ingredients to make this all we need to do is just take one spoon of uh, corn flour and one spoon of all purpose flour in this we going to add pinch of salt just to season now you know i'm just going to make it very simple just we going to add little water and make this like a batter because i'm just using few pieces of paneer i'm just going to make this very simple then we going to take pieces of paneer and coat this paneer with this you know little batter and then we're going to use soya granules you know soya granules rich in protein and when they are used to coat uh, anything and fry you can use them as bread crumbs they give a very nice taste and a crispy texture so just once again in this put it in this batter just again once again just coat this paneer with the soya granules you can get in the market some call it as a vegetable keema or things like that and you can make awesome curries with it but coating for paneer also gives excellent results yesterday i was speaking to one of my chef friend he says when they use lean meat to make koftas or things like that it becomes little bit dry so what he does is he takes some of this soya granules and mixes it with the mince meat that way because mince meat is expensive like 5 600 rupees a kg boneless whereas when you mix this it becomes nice cheaper but it gives the same benefit the soya granules have a lot of proteins so protein and protein nothing can go wrong it's nice tasty and also they make the koftas very nice soft and juicy i'm going to show that also in one of these days now the oil is nice and hot and also when you double coat double dip the soya granules see look at the small piece of paneer looking big we going to fry them but make sure the temperature is right and uh, that's when your soya coated paneer will come nice and golden awesomely yummy golden color and the crunch is good the taste is good and inside is awesome paneer so only thing is you make sure that the temperature is perfect usually you know the temperature what you fry your samosas are ideal for doing all these fries that's around 170 degree centigrade now look at this the paneer is perfectly fried you know make sure the temperature is not too low because the more time you fry it it becomes rubbery now these are perfect crunchy one thing great about this soya granule coated uh, paneer is they remain nice and crunchy little longer than any other coating so make them ahead serve them but remember you have to serve it with a sauce so i'll show you a very simple sauce which i have shown earlier also to make this sauce is also very simple just take some chili paste vinegar wherever you add vinegar you add sugar and the sugar cuts down and make it very tasty in this we're also going to add some tomato ketchup to give it a nice texture but one thing very awesome in this sauce is garlic just chop some garlic and you can also add some soya sauce light soya sauce and your sauce is all ready in this add some chopped spring onion to give it you know nice uh, crunch but you add spring onions if you are not going to save this sauce if you are going to save this just avoid the spring onion now just pour this awesome garlic chili sauce and we are going to add this crispy soya granule coated paneer wow in every bite it's heaven now the favorite thing i love to do always and that's taking a bite ah 
Mm. Mm. You know, I don't know whether you can hear the crunch, but just awesome crunch. And when you dip it in this awesome chili garlic sauce, life is heavenly. So, when your kids come back home, make this, serve them along with this sauce, and they will go gaga all over. Mm. Wow. Just too good, very heavenly, and as always, vare va. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session. But do not forget to post your recipes at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Keep watching Washef and Mrs. Washef channel and keep saying vareva. Mmm. Mmm. Too good. And you can also make this with uh, chicken, you can make this with fish, shrimp, anything, and it